There he is. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I've been waiting on this all day, guys. Got to follow that fish. He's going to take some line and that's okay. What is up guys and thanks for tuning in to Vitamin D TV. I'm Vitamin D and today we're here in Fort Walton ready to get fishing. So I told you guys we were going to be teaming up with a lot of local YouTubers. So today I got my cousin Lionel James from Lion's Tail Adventures. And we also got our boy Brandon Hilliard from Got The Hook Up Charters. What's good? Captain Brandon, yeah. So we're here at Emerald Coast Bait and Tackle ready to get some tackle and get out on the water. I think we got a banger for you guys. So if you got a minute, grab a drink, grab a seat, and let's go fishing. Let's go. Let's go. Time flies. Guys, we are just leaving two Georges here in Shalimar, Florida. We're on the 31-foot uh, Cape Horn. Captain Brandon Hilliard is going to take us out. We're going to cruise up and down the beaches looking for a very specific fish, all right? It's a very strong and powerful fish and also very tasty. So, you guys cross your fingers. Hope we can get on them. We got a banger for you guys today. So, let's get out here and let's get on them. Let's go. All right, guys, so we are at our location right now. We're about to drop some baits in the water, but I wanted to show you guys the setup that we're gonna be using. As you can see here, we have this Rapala X-Wrap. This is a heavy Magnum 15. This bait dives to 15 foot, and hopefully this guy will get down there. It's a little bit dark. It's got that purple to it. Hopefully it can get down there. We're gonna run across these fish and get some drag screaming for you guys, all right? I got that tied up with a 50 pound Seaguar leader coming into about 40 pound power probe and uh, we got a nice pin right here that we're going to be using nice pin rod rampage and yeah we're going to drop that bad boy out we're going to troll just a little bit hopefully they might pop up on the surface and we'll be able to cast some lures at them that would be ideal for us but let's drop these baits in let's get moving and let's get on them let's go Ow. all right guys we are at speed moving out about six miles per hour we're gonna let this guy out. All right, so we're taking line right now. Gonna let that guy out, maybe 100 yards or so. Not even, really. Probably gonna go about 60 or 80. This bait dives to 15, so we wanna let a good bit of line out, so that ensures that it gets to the, the depth that it's supposed to be at. All right, we're gonna stop that bait just like that. It's pulling just like it's supposed to. We're gonna turn the clicker on. And we're gonna keep that drag right at a tension where that fish can pull it, but we're not gonna rip it out of its mouth, all right? Then we're gonna set it and forget it. We got moving water right here, guys, and we got fish feeding in the distance. So I think this could be them. If it's not them, then this is a uh, Bonita, which is false albacore. So I'm gonna go ahead and start popping for them. Check my drag. Yep. Just keep straight, keep straight, keep straight. Don't turn. I need to put on that other lure, bro. That long casting. Incredible. All right, guys, plan A did not work out. We gave it a good shot. I think we got here a little bit too late. 
that or the conditions just aren't right for that particular species so we're gonna move offshore we're gonna get on some wrecks and uh we're definitely gonna get some fish in the boat so let's ride all right guys we are at the spot and i'm gonna just throw some chunk bait out try and get these fish to come up just a little bit and uh hopefully we can do that uh these guys said there's some pretty big fish on this spot brandon is about to start vertical jigging and uh that's a great way to get them from up off the bottom so let's see what happens and he is on guys first drop incredible with the vertical jig there he is nice jack probably not gonna make size but still a good fish and a nice yeah. fight want me, want me to grab me there he is guys nice amber jack first one in the boat hey good job brother hit me uh oh yeah not a keeper but we know they're down there so i might get tied on i might even do some vertical jigging but uh yeah let's get back to fishing all right guys so now that we are on the fish we're on the wreck and we know they're down there i got a special rod and reel combo that we're going to be using today this is a custom rod built by uh, a guy who really knows what he's doing he's got awesome work and uh this rod is owned by a kid who is like my godson he's one of my best friend's sons and it's a 2200 dollars setup but he hasn't gotten out and got on the fish with it but he wanted me to take this rod and reel out and see if i could catch a fish on it and uh today is the day brandon's got us hooked up with a vertical jig and we got 50 pound fluorocarbon on there all we got to do now is drop it down, give it a few jigs up and down, and get hooked up. So let's do it. Tucker, this one's for you. We're going straight down. All right, I think we're on bottom. I'm going to check my drag. It's a little bit loose. Tighten that up a good bit. So this should be one hellacious fight. Let's give him a couple big jigs. And all I'm doing is yo-yoing that guy up and down, jigging him straight up and down. The more aggressive you can be with that lure, the more they like it. Nah, there he is. There he is. There he is, baby. All right. That's a good fish. That's a good fish. Brandon, did you bring your GoPro with you? No. That's a good fish right there. That's a good fish right there, guys. We are bowed up. Yes, look at that rod bowed over. That's a good one. We're going to try and get this fish off the bottom. There is some wreckage down there. So I'm just going to reel down, pull up, get whatever line he's going to let me get. And we're going to try and get him up. There he is. He's a little upset, to say the least. It's my turn, buddy. My turn. All right, on. Ooh, that's a good fish. On, All right, I see color. Yep, there he is. All right, just get his head up and we should be good. All right, let's land him. Ah, yes. There you go, Tucker. That was for you, my man. Ow! Appreciate it. All right, guys. So our first fish of the day, a nice little amberjack. And as you can see, he put up an awesome fight for us. So he's a little bit shy of a keeper, but still a good fight. And I'm glad to have caught him. Tucker, this one's for you, buddy. And uh, we're going to go ahead and let this guy go, all right? Here we go. Oh, <laughs> All right, here we go. Good stuff. Let's get on another one. Ow! Left-handed. Left-handed. 
I was not expecting this. <laughs> All right, we're hooked up on a left-handed setup. And uh, yeah, hey, gotta practice both sides, right? It's like basketball. So let's see if we can get this fish up. Hey, don't judge me. This left-handed. I'm not left-handed. <laughs> <laughs> got a nice little red snapper here came on the fly line there we go all right guys a nice red snapper he's probably a keeper 16 inches is the keeper size for red snapper but they are out of season we got a real strict season here in florida as far as red snapper go and uh it is not seasoned so we got to throw this guy back he came on a piece of chunk bait on a fly line so let's let him go just like that he's gone Ooh. i don't know if that's a red snapper oh that might be uh oh yeah that's a good fish he just, he just got eaten by a shark oh dang he got eaten by a shark dang it's what it is y'all it yeah. happens it all part is. of the game i hope you guys are enjoying it if you haven't already be sure to hit that like button hit that subscribe button and hey if this is your first time on the channel be sure to check out some of my older videos i might be fishing in your backyard let's get back to fishing big school of bait Those are i got it He's on it. Oh my God, it's, it's definitely Bonitas. I need one, I need one. All right, you're good right there. You got a mine coming too. The right in front of us. There he is, yeah, yeah. Let's go, Bonita on, Bonita on, let's go. There he is. Look at all the Bonitas behind him. Yep. Oh my goodness, y'all, you're gonna have a fun to Yes, sir. Go, yes, go, sir. Go, go. I've been waiting on this all day, guys. I've never seen a man so excited for the Benita. I love it. Gotta follow that fish. He's gonna take some line, and that's okay. Because he's gonna get tired. Ah, he pulled. Oh, no, he didn't. They turn so fast sometimes, it feels like they pull. But they're so fast. They're so fast. Sometimes they turn so quick that it looks like, it feels like they're they're pulled. So, ah, he did pull that time. That's okay. That's okay. You gotta keep tension on them. Watch how quick this happens, guys. Watch this. Reel it fast. Make it where they feel like they can't catch it. And then they can catch it. I can't tell you guys how fun this is. Just rolling right up on the fish. It's just insane. I mean, get the drag screaming, you get the adrenaline pumping, nothing like it. He's on you, he's on you. There he is, Brandon, Brandon's got one, get him. Oh, and I'm on just like that, oh! Hit it. He hit it on the paws. Heck yeah. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> Got him good. We're gonna flip him in. Yeah, another one. Another one. Look at him going crazy. All right, guys. Finally got on one of these Bonita out here on the fly line with a lure. And we ran up on a big school as we were coming back in. Super thrilled to have caught this fish. Brandon, I appreciate you, brother. Be sure to hit Brandon up at got the hookup charters you can find him online got the hookup charters.com and uh, we're gonna take this fish home and we're gonna do something special with him not really good table fare but i'm definitely gonna hook him up and uh put him on the table let's go all right guys so these guys aren't the best table fare but if you bleed them out right away and you get all that blood out of him he's a really bloody fish but you can get all that blood out of him while he's while he's still alive and you can actually make a good meal out of them. So we're gonna bleed him out. 
cut it really good. Then you want to hang him over the sock. He's going to keep kicking. He's going to keep bleeding. And he should be fully bled out. We'll put him on ice and uh, we'll see you at the house. All right, guys, we are back in the house. And you know what it means when you see that fish bag. Look at that tail sticking out. We're going to pull that fish out. We're going to get him filleted up right here. Got our knife ready. And we're going to get this guy cooked up. Let's go. All right, guys, so I got the skin pulled off of one of these fillets, and I just want to show you guys that this is the bloodline in that fish, and what I've done is I've taken that bloodline out. So that's where a lot of the fishy, fishy taste is going to be inside of that bloodline. But if we just get rid of that guy, then you got two nice little strips of clean fish. So we're going to do the same thing to this fillet, then we'll get to cooking that fish up. All right, guys, as you can see, I got this pot heating up. We got some Pompeii olive oil in there, and we're just gonna get that guy nice and hot. We're gonna drop our bonita in there, okay? guys so as you can see we got that bonita false albacore all cooked up we got some medium well some medium and some rare over here so we're just going to take our lemon give it a nice squeeze and we're just going to coat those guys just like that perfect and we got our camera girl lauren ready to film me eat this fish let's go all right guys now it's time to eat this uh, not so good table fare in a lot of people's eyes, false albacore. Uh, I was just watching Brant right here. And uh, yeah, let's do it. So I got some sea salt. We're just gonna give it a few cracks, not too much. And a little bit of cracked pepper. Again, not too much. We got our, we got our lemon squeezed on there. Let's give it a shot. So I think I'll start with the rare because I'm not scared. It tastes like regular tuna, that's crazy. Yeah, it tastes like any tuna that you would get at the store. So I did uh, soak that fish in an ice bath. Let's try the uh, medium. It's as good as any restaurant. And now we'll go medium. Definitely gonna be eating these guys again. It's just as good as any tuna that you would get in a restaurant. The Fish House, Global Grill, anywhere in town that you would get fresh, fresh tuna. This Bonita is just as good as that. That's crazy. All right, guys, I hope you learned something from today's video. If you haven't already, be sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and we're going to keep the dope content coming your way, all right? And if you're new to the channel, consider hitting that subscribe button. Hitting that like button will definitely help out the channel, and we're going to be constantly growing. Family, I appreciate you guys as always, and I'm Vitamin D for Vitamin D TV. I'm out. Peace. Why are you saying because I'm not scared? Because oh, like rare. Because people are afraid to eat it, and I'm not afraid to eat it. Mm. They all kind of look the same to me. It's good, just say it's good. I said that. <laughs> and real quick guys, if anyone's wondering how I cook this fish specifically, I just seared it up real nice. All I did was got that pan nice and hot with a little bit of oil in there. And with tuna, if you're just gonna sear it, all you wanna do is get that pan hot, drop the fillets in there, let it cook on whatever side it's on for a few seconds, and then rotate that fillet flip it over and cook it on each side about the same amount of time 
and uh, you'll get nice pieces just like this where it's just got a nice sear on each side it's delicious Lauren approves I approve and all you gotta do is bleed that fish out let's go